Also new tonight at 10, cases of bacterial pneumonia are on a sharp rise across central Indiana. Fox 59's Michael Van Skoik shares the message from health officials as a recent COVID wave cools off. Many Indiana classrooms have been in full swing for close to two months now, and IU School of Public Health experts say we're coming off a COVID wave, which is fairly common towards the end of summer. A lot of times as people come together after being separated over the summer, we see that bump, and that's normal. We've seen that in many years for other diseases as well. While that wave has slowed back down, IU doctors say now they're noticing other respiratory trends. I actually got the opportunity to speak with one of our urgent care providers in Bloomington directly, who actually stated that roughly two thirds of the visits that he had today were specifically around upper respiratory infections that were non-flu and non-COVID. Dr. Ethan Blocker-Smith with IU Health Fisher says that includes cases of bacterial pneumonia. Bacterial pneumonia is where we have an actual bacteria growing in the tissue within the lung territory. Dr. Blocker-Smith says people can catch bacterial pneumonia through droplets in the air or on surfaces. He says the illness often involves three stages, initial fatigue, onset of coughing, and finally recovery. So once you're through that initial window, you're still going to be coughing for a while, but you're not going to get anybody infected. Blocker Smith says pneumonia can sometimes clear on its own, but recommends patients visit a doctor to get proper antibiotics. He and other medical experts say they expect to see an uptick in other illnesses like flu and COVID in the coming months, especially as the holidays start rolling around. We are in the lull before the storm, in essence. As those illnesses ramp up, Shandy Durth with the IU School of Public Health says there are ways to differentiate sicknesses. A lot of times colds will not have a fever, whereas flu often will have a very quick onset. You're a lot more likely to have a fever. You're a lot more likely to have uh, chest congestion. Uh, same thing with COVID. Health experts recommend practicing good hygiene, like washing your hands. They also say it's important to test for any symptoms and stay home if feeling ill. Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News.